Imagine a world without plugs. No more tripping over cables. Cars zoom down the street, silently and effortlessly. No more honking at gas stations. No gas stations, no exhaust fumes, just smooth, clean energy. And no more check engine lights. Mobile phones never in charge. Say goodbye to the low battery bank. Home still lit, powered by invisible wheels. No more hunting for the lights which can turn. Harnessing radio waves for energy. It's like Wi-Fi, but for your car. Imagine a future with abundant, clean energy. This is the world of Maxwell Chikungutso. And it's not science fiction. A self taught engineer from Zimbabwe has long been fascinated by energy. And no, not the kind that powers your morning coffee. His journey began with a passion for electronics and a dream of a better future. Probably one where his gadgets didn't mysteriously disappear. Chikumbutso's breakthrough came with the realization that radio waves held untapped potential. Who knew those old radios could do more than just be static? This invention represents a bold step towards a future where energy knows no bounds, or at least no more tangled cords. With his innovative approach, Chikumbutso has opened new doors in the world of sustainable energy. And probably a few windows too. His work not only highlights the potential radio waves, but also inspires future generations of inventors. So, keep those radios handy. Radio waves are everywhere. Seriously, they're like the glitter of the energy world. Impossible to get rid of. They carry music to our radios, connect our phones, and probably know more about our lives than we do. And they beam signals to satellites in space, making sure we never miss a cat video. But these waves are more than just information carriers. They're also energy. Who knew, right? Radio waves can be captured and transformed into usable power like magic but with more science and fewer rabbits. This is the principle underpinning Chikumbutso's invention, turning the invisible ocean of energy around us into a source of clean, sustainable power. He claims to have created a self-sustaining energy generator, Scythe Generator, that can power vehicles, homes and industry equipment. No magic wands required. The product has been launched and available for sale as of February 10th, 2025. So if you're tired of paying your electric bill, this might be your ticket. Are there any people who have bought the product? Please let us know how they work in the comment section. And if it's too good to be true, we want to hear that too. Capturing energy from radio waves is not a new concept. It relies on rectification. No, not the kind you need after a bad haircut. Specialized antennas and circuits capture waves, converting them into electricity. It's like magic but with more wires. Similarly, radio waves generate an electrical current. No rabbits out of heads here good old science. This technology has the potential to be scaled up. Think skyscrapers with antenna hairdos. Imagine buildings covered in antennas, drawing power from the air. It's like they're saying, look ma, no wires. Or devices with built-in receivers, constantly charging. Never worry about your phone dying with me again. The possibilities are vast. However, only minute quantities of power have been produced so far. And Chikumbutso claims to have found a way to magnify the power to large-scale use. 
Let's hope he's not just pulling a fast one on us. Section 5 A Glimpse into the Future Cars and Beyond Buckle up. The most electrifying application of radio wave energy is powering vehicles. Literally. Imagine cars that never need refueling, drawing energy from the environment. Say goodbye to gas stations and hello to endless road trips. This could revolutionize transportation, eliminating our dependence on fossil fuels and maybe even those pesky gas prices. But the potential goes far beyond cars. Think bigger. Imagine self-powering phones, laptops and homes. No more hunting for chargers. Remote areas could be powered by radio wave technology, bringing light and connectivity. Finally, Wi-Fi in the wilderness. Section 6. A greener tomorrow. The promise of radio energy, or as we like to call it, the wave of the future. Radio wave energy can drastically reduce our carbon footprint, and maybe even our shoe size. Imagine a world free from smog and pollution. Your lungs will thank you. A cleaner, healthier planet for generations to come. And fewer excuses for skipping that one job. Energy as a force for good. And for keeping your gadgets charged. Empowering communities with clean, affordable energy. Because who doesn't love a good power up? The future is bright with radio energy. And so are our light bulbs. Section 7 Controversy and Skepticism The Challenges Ahead Despite its potential, Chikumbutu's invention has been met with skepticism from some scientists and engineers. They're probably just jealous they didn't think of it first. They argue that the amount of energy that can be harvested from radio waves is too small to be practically useful. Maybe they need bigger antennas. Further research, development and open collaboration are needed to fully explore its capabilities and address the skepticism surrounding it or maybe just a really good sales pitch. Section 8 A Call to Curiosity exploring the frontiers of energy or as we like to call it how to make your car run on airwaves and impress your neighbors the journey towards a sustainable future requires bold thinking relentless pursuit of new solutions and maybe a bit of caffeine maxwell chikumbutso's work reminds us of the importance of scientific curiosity and that sometimes the best ideas come when you're not looking. We must challenge conventional wisdom and embrace innovation. Because, let's face it, conventional wisdom never invented a car powered by radio waves. The answers to our energy challenges may lie in unexpected places, like the back of your fridge or that drawer you never opened. Let us move forward with open minds and a shared commitment to a sustainable future. And maybe a good sense of humor. The future, powered by the very air we breathe, is brimming with possibility. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be charging our phones with a sneeze. Please subscribe to Zishopu for more tech and business news.